I think to make this good, I think we're gonna just put a little angle from there down to there. All right, let's take this thing apart. Welcome back to the garage guys. I'm Damien and this is the Binder Build. You know, when I first started editing this video, um, the original version was like 30 minutes long. So instead of doing my normal standard deliver stuff, I figured I'd just get right into the video. Today I'm mocking up the AM system and figuring out how to mount my steering rack. But before I do that, I need to put everything together and see where everything lands. After pulling all the pieces out, I assembled the arms, fitting them into the bulkhead, installing the himes, attaching the upper bulkhead parts, and installing the upper arms. All right, guys, so here is everything kind of just kind of thrown together real quick. Did have to redo a few things on the bulkhead, but uh, all is well. Um, anyway, so now obviously I've got to scoot these mounts forward. Then I'm going to scoot that mount forward to match because basically once I get this right on top of each other, I could put the knuckles in. And then from the front of the knuckle where the tie rod connects, I'll be able to see where I need to put the steering box over here. As you can see, I got, here's the little quarter inch plate bracket that I made. I'm gonna make another one to hold the steering rack and drill a hole through the middle here so that the center uh, universal joint for the steering could go right through it and then I can gusset everything up and make everything permanent. <clears throat> but for now, um, yeah, that's what we're looking at. So after scooting the arms forward, Then I tried to install the knuckles. I say tried because the Heim spacers that I had clearance down, the machine shop actually clearance them to zero tolerance, which for my clumsy fingers wasn't great. I did need to sand them down a little bit so I could have enough play to install them. Get the old steering rack out. This is the uh, latest reach. 425147 BK. BK means black. If you don't get the BK, if you just get the 425 uh, 425147, uh, it'll come in like a aluminum or polished. Uh, but I like the black, to be honest with you. I also like the silver and black. Just It just matches my whole scheme. Uh, but anyway, as you guys can know, this is a center mount, front, or <laughs> center load front mount uh, rack. Star, still getting used to all this stuff. The thing I need to do is basically measure it, hold it up, and see uh, where it needs to be placed because I need basically these pieces here where the himes go onto the rack. These bolts need to be lined up with these holes so that when uh, I do the, the drag link or the tie rods, you're gonna be right, perfect right there. The tape is just kind of give me an eyeball. I already know this is too this is too low. It's not going to be where this is. So what I did is I took a measurement from the bolt, center of bolt to the center of the steering here where the tie rod goes. If I go center to center, it's about five inches. It's like four and no, it's five. It's five, right? Dead smack five. Okay. So the thought is, if that's five, then this also must be five. So see if that looks more like it's supposed to be. And that does, that looks a lot closer. That looks a lot closer to what it needs to be. And that'll make this parallel with the bottom one. I'm more interested in making it parallel to the bottom one 
Um, just so you know, I made this a half inch short. So it's not going to be 100% parallel with the top. But because the bottom one is where the is what really holds the tire out, and this one just kind of makes sure they don't fold in, um, I want it connected to that. Now, I probably am wrong on that. Um, like I said, this is my first A-arm suspension, so I could be completely wrong. So, but I like the way it looks. Isn't that why we do it? Because we like the way it looks. All right, so what do I need to do to make the tires or that be that? That is just a skosh too high. Um, so what can I do to lower it? I have no problem cutting this out and making it shorter so that I could put my steering rack right where it needs to be. I'll cut the hole right here. Uh, well, actually, no, no. The hole for the steering joint is lower. I have to do some math to figure out where the, the because uh, if you look, this is where the, uh, the tie rods mount. And as you can see, this is slightly lower than up here. See how that is lower? So my hole for my steering joint to go onto this uh, nub needs to be lower than the line for these. But yeah, like I said, that would be perfect. And then, that sense, these rack and pinions have a two inch eye to eye here. I would like to make it six. So if I make a, like a bracket that goes to six. Now they do have Heim spreaders, like uh, I think CarTech has them, um, but those go to 11 and make the Heim, you know, so the Heims are 11 inches apart and this is six inches apart. And again, it's that hypotenuse thing. I don't want them swinging at different arcs. Okay, but forward to back. Let's go forward to back now. From bottom plate to the top, I'm gonna to call that three inches. Okay, so bring it up, that's three and a half. That actually works because three inches is to the casing. If the Himes are inch and three quarter, uh, with the with the with the spacers, so three. So I can literally mount that where it's at, and it will be good. All right, let's get to work. So I decided to install the half inch himes in place before making anything permanent. Call it one of those measure twice, cut once sort of things. After installing the himes, I remeasured everything, including holding the rack back up to ensure I got everything figured out right. Once I was satisfied, I drew out my plans for the rack's mounting plate. Then I disassembled everything again to start modifying it for the rack's mount. Strip the bulkhead down. Uh, this is the lower bulkhead. You'll notice that I did have to cut off the front ones. Um, all the welding that I did, and particularly those inside welds right here, uh, stuck them in even more so. And it was just, it was just, I was fighting it. Uh, too much as you saw in my previous videos. I was able to beat it in um, But with as much as I'm pulling it out and putting it back together pulling it apart and putting it back together I, It is just I got better things to do. So I took some time cut them out um, now I am going to uh, Modify this So the reason I have to modify this is because the laser rage rack will sit right about here on the uh, mount, I got a little mark on the back where and everything was set up. Um, and so the problem is, if I don't notch this down, if I don't like clearance it down, the tie rods won't sit level or I should say parallel with the lower links and the upper links or the upper arms. So what I have to do is, is I'm gonna cut, let's see what I got. I gotta cut an inch and a half out of this about three inches back. I'm going to make a plate that will pick up these four bolts holes. This plate will come in and that's the mark where I need to cut it at, right? So I'm going to square this up. Another plate that's going to come across and come down and cap where I cut this out. So then the second plate is going to be able to be welded to this. So this one is going to be like a half inch thick. So um, then I will go ahead and re gonna weld this all together. Uh, and then I'm going to assemble it. I probably should tack weld it all together. Um, so yeah, I'll tack weld it together. <laughs> then I'll assemble it again. 
and see if it all comes together like it's supposed to. Um, and then once I confirm that, um, then I'll be able to fully weld everything all together and all will be well. Now that I have my measurements, I mark the bulkhead. And took it to the bandsaw. I had to do a little bit of fine trimming here to make things just right. All right. Okay, so what I did is I just cut this piece out. Just this little chop, chop this off. I had to do a little bit of finagling, but uh, this is going to go right on top of it. Boom, like so. And then the thought is, then the thought is the piece, see this little line, that white line? That's where that needs to be. This will be able to sit like so. And presto requesto. Uh, get that where it needs to be, front to back, up and down, and everything will be okie dokie. That input shaft on the on the rack will be sitting almost it might actually be sitting under flush not super happy about that but we'll have to figure it out no big deal since i had a drop from the trimming the bulkhead off i figured i'd put that piece to good use check this out Here we go, here we go. See, I just basically chopped the sides off it. Still got the nice round and wouldn't you know. Okay, presto requesto. Okay, sweet. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a gap, but remember I'm gonna make the other, uh, the other plate like this so that it sits down in like so and it's gonna cap that and then this will butt right up to it. And on this one, I'll have the mounts for the, the rack then I can basically weld it all up. This one will sit behind it like so. Square it all up, tack it, put everything back together again, see what happens. With that all sorted out, I moved to making the actual rack mount. Back to the drawing pad. With my fingers crossed, I punched nipples where I wanted the holes and drilled them out. The middle one gets an inch and a half hole saw. This is for the steering joint. Then I took it back to the rack to see if everything lines up. It sure did. Very happy about that. However, I did also decide to use two of the inner holes positioned around the input shaft. The holes lined up perfectly. Time to test mount everything and then trim out the saddle for the bulkhead. All right, okay, so this is where we're at. Um, got the rough plate cut, roughly. Hmm. All right, that goes on, it goes all the way to the end. Nice, nice, this go on like so and then I'll just smash them together once I get everything tacked on I'll be able to uh, drill out these holes and the ho the hole saw in this piece so that it will continue through for the steering joint that's actually looking pretty good now the question is um, is it the right size so let's go make sure of that That is set down all the way. All right, the question now, if you remember, is are these 
an inch and a half over the old top was. And I'm gonna cut the top off, of course, that's not gonna work. Um, but, so an inch and a half over the top is five and a half from the bottom, right? Five and a half. It's a little bit over. It's actually like five and a, no, no, it's five and a half. Yeah, close enough for government work. This will go on like so. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let me grab you guys. That's what it's looking like. So I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna be able to grease cirque that unless I remove the box, but that's okay. I can remove the box, a couple of bolts, four bolts, and it'll come out. As you can see, it has plenty of room to slide forward. I'm probably gonna have to do, I know I'm gonna have to do a trough right here in order to, uh, don't mind my wiggleness and my wiggling, but I'm gonna have to do a trough in here to clear the steering joint when it's mounted. Um, those four bolt holes line up actually really well. And like I said, um, five and a half inches, man, from the bottom to the top. And that will put it at five inches uh, with, the, uh, with the arms on. Not bad. Um, okay, I'm gonna call it a day here. I think we're at a good stopping point. I just need to do some cleanup, kind of tack everything together, reassemble everything, double check it. I'll do that on the next video. And then what we'll do literally is after I verify it's all good, I hate to say this, but I'm going to final weld everything. I'm just going to weld everything together. Hopefully it's not premature, but uh, hey, you know, what you going to do? Uh, so that'd be fun. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so see you on the next one, guys. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Any comments, questions, or anything of that nature? I think I'm just freaking crazy for basically throwing caution to the wind and building stuff by hand <laughs> go ahead and let me know in the comment section all right cool catch you guys on the next one i'm damien and this is the binder building